Oh my gosh, oh my heart. <laughs> Oh my heart, oh my heart, oh my heart. Hi friends and welcome back. Today is another very magical video. It is another Harry Potter haul. I have bought some items and received some items and I think one of them actually was from the Shire and I'm very excited to share these items with you guys. And if you are as well, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Let's get unboxing. In case you didn't watch my Try Wizard a Thon weekly reading vlogs, because I know that's not for everyone, but I am actually quite proud of those videos and I think they're super cozy. So if you want to watch them, I will leave them up in the info cards. But in one of those videos, I actually showed an item that I bought quite recently that I really, really wanted to have because it's perfect for the Try Wizard a Thon. It is the Try Wizard cup this is an item that i bought from the harry potter warner brothers studio tour shop i bought it online i've been eyeing this item for a while now and it's not that expensive i think it's around 20 euros or something which for an official item for an official replica is quite okay i mean it looks really good and i thought it would just be super fun to be able to hold the Triwizard Cup when I finish the Triwizard a thon. And I love that this top part is kind of blue when the light hits it and it says Triwizards. And it's also a lamp. There's a little switch down here and when I flip it, you have this blue light at the bottom. The batteries are included. I thought they weren't, so I was like screwing this entire thing open, but then I realized that there were already batteries inside. Not a lot of things come with batteries, so that's a big plus. It's just a great prop replica. And recently I got a lot of great shirts made by Joe and one of them is this one with this old school Harry Potter logo. I am in love with this shirt. I also love the color. And no, she does not have an Etsy shop, although everyone tells her she should. Jo is actually also one of my patrons. And if you feel like that is something for you, then definitely come join us. Just head over to patreon.com, type in my name, Leanne Brooks, or click on the link in my description. It's really like this small community of friends, book lovers, and Harry Potter nerds, or just fantasy nerds in general. So if you feel like it's something for you head over to patreon.com it's just a bag that i reuse from time to time it's from the water brother studio tour and i love it i'm just gonna put this beside me and gonna take out the first package so as you can see this had some wrapping paper uh this was from two of my friends actually they gifted me a magical creature from the noble collection that i really wanted it's from a store called kings and queens this is actually a dutch store so for everyone that lives in the netherlands and belgium this is really a nice store to look for Disney and Harry Potter related items, also other fandoms. They have great deals from time to time. This is what we are seeing. Every Noble Collection item comes with this little book in which you can see other Noble Collection items. The Wizard's chest set is definitely one I also really want. That's always nice that they include that so you can just spend more money at the Noble Collection. <laughs> the item I got really excited about is this one. This is Magical Creature number seven, a Dementor. It comes in this plastic package. When we remove that, we are left with a box and inside the box is the figurine so you take off this lid and they always have a background in this case it's just clouds and the moon and this dark colored sky if i'm not mistaken every magical creature has three parts so you can always take the figurine out. I think this is to represent a part of Hogwarts and the Black Lake and of course the figurine itself. I am always amazed by how these figurines look. They have 
so much detail. You can even see the outlines of his face beneath the black cloak. The hands look so lifelike. I just love how creepy it looks. Let me put everything back together. I have my very own Dementor safely put away in a glass case. <laughs> I absolutely love the magical creatures from the Noble Collection. This was definitely my top three. I would also love to have Buckbeak and the troll from the dungeon and some of the Fantastic Beast magical creatures because these figurines are just so lovely and a little bit addictive for collectors like myself. I have a dark art shelf and that is where this Dementor is going to live. Speaking of the dark arts, I have another figurine that I bought over at Zavi. And Zavi is this online shop where you can buy a lot of fandom items and also great deals. But I have to say their service isn't always there. Items are sometimes very late and they don't really communicate that. I ordered from their Dutch website, but I know that they also have an English website. I saw this and I thought it looked so adorable, which is weird because it's not an adorable character. <laughs> All right, and this came in a package with two other mystery items. Let's first look at the main item. It is Lord Voldemort, and it is a Q figurine. And this is what I saw on their website. So I thought that looks super good and I really wanna order it. I love it. That is amazing. And we can see his veins. He's floating in midair and he is casting his Avada Kedavra spell. He is a little bit smaller than I expected. That's on me though, because the sizes were on there. This is gonna look perfect over there. Let's take a look at the two mystery items that we got. So first up, we got a collectible 3D eraser. Is this supposed to be Hermione? Or is this supposed to be Molly? I don't know. What do you guys think? And it feels so weird to use a character as an eraser. It is kind of cute though. <laughs> I do wonder now, how many characters do they have? And the second mystery item. These are A6 exercise notebooks. There are three of them and it comes in this really cute package with a string. We have got Mischief Managed. And the papers on the inside have the Hogwarts crest in the background and then at the top a wand with some stars. The second one says beyond this point, wizards only. And again, we have some gold foiling. And then the third one says waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna take some notes apparently. So that's super fun. Three little notebooks. I'm pleasantly surprised by these additional items. Let's move on to the next packet. This is another one from Jo and it is a t-shirt. I remember her telling me that this is not Harry Potter related. I think it's Lord of the Rings. There are two magical stickers on this package, but I cannot show them to you guys because my address and hers is on it. But it says free to house elves. And the other one says winter's fashion witches. And this package came all the way from the United States. Let's see. Look at how beautiful that looks. The sticker says, do the universe a favor, don't hide your magic. And an envelope with my name on it. My little letter opener. It's a little card with the Deathly Hallow sign on there. It says, hello, Leanna. I hope you and your boyfriend enjoy your Hobbit shirt. Thank you for being such a great friend. Love, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm gonna hang on to that card. And she also added these cute little ornaments that I can put in my Christmas tree. And then of course, the shirts. I love it. Ah, oh, this is 
awesome. It's like a medium sleeve. I don't even know how to explain it, but that is so cool. It says Hobbit and then there's the Hobbit's door and there's Elven language above it. I'm not sure, but it might say speak friend to enter. Thank you, Joe. You're the best. This is so awesome. It is time for the final item in this haul. This is something I've been wanting for a very long time. I had to save for this because I think it is really expensive. It is an item from the Noble Collection. And from the moment that I saw this in other people's collection, I wanted this so bad. I bought it at this online shop. It was still very expensive, but it saved me a couple of euros. And it came with a little something extra, which I'm gonna open first. It's a little box that says, the wand chooses you. Discover which will be yours. Oh, and at the back it says which wands you can collect. Oh, that's cool. I got Lupin's wands. There are three parts. Am I stupid? I don't know how to put these three things together. It's a little wand stand. How cool is that? And then you can just take it out. I'm not the biggest fan of these small collectible items, but they look pretty good. I think I might even display it on my shelves. Moving on to the final item. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys one hint. It's one of the Horcruxes. Let's remove the bubble wrap. It says Noble Collection on the side. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting this for so long. I hope it's not going to disappoint. Oh my gosh, oh my heart. <laughs> oh my heart, oh my heart, oh my heart. Do you know what it is? It's the Ravenclaw diadem. It just never felt justified to buy such an expensive item. And this year I just decided it's almost Christmas. Buy something for yourself because I had already bought Christmas presents for my friends. And I thought, why not? Just buy something for yourself. Just do it. We have this amazing looking box. Feels a little bit like fake leather or something. The Harry Potter logo is at the bottom in silver. And then of course the eagle. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit anxious to open this. I think you just open it like this. Okay, wow, this is so impressive. Look at that box. So it has a raven instead of an eagle. There is an eagle at the front or is that a raven as well? Okay, I'm confused. Oh wait, it is a movie replica, of course. There is the Ravenclaw crest and because it is inspired by the movies, it is a raven. So this is inside. I'm guessing that this is the diadem and then there's this velvety inside and it has a certain shape. So I think that you are supposed to place the diadem here. Let's open this one. It comes in black tissue paper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. With Beyond Measure, Man's Greatest Treasure. You probably know by now that I am a Ravenclaw, so this was high on my wish list. Man, I'm impressed. All the little stones. I love the blue stones in the middle. I heard that a lot of people said that it is not wearable and it's not like I'm planning to wear this around the house or something, but I am, I want to try. I know it's not meant to go like this, but you can kind of wear it. You could like, you can actually like put it on your head. Oh my gosh. I look like a princess. This is freaking amazing. I can, oh my gosh, calm down, like calm down. I'm gonna put it in this beautiful box. Look at that. This looks fantastic. So worth it. I am so beyond happy that I bought it. I might want to display it like this because I like the front part a little bit better than the inside, but it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I finally bought it. I bought one of the Horcruxes. And that was it guys. Those were all the magical items in this haul. Definitely let me know your favorite or maybe an item that you think I should buy based on these. I'm always down for collector's tips. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.